So today we are going to go ahead and we are going to talk about the Harrod Dumal model. See, in the Harrod Dumal model, we basically go ahead and we give a relationship between the GDP of the economy. And we say that this GDP of the economy, it depends on two things. First, directly on how much savings are done in the economy. Directly on the savings rate of the economy. And secondly, inversely, on the capital output ratio of the economy. The capital output ratio can be represented using small c or theta. Both these are fine. Both of these go ahead and represent the capital output ratio of the economy. Right? What is capital output ratio? Capital output ratio basically tells us how much capital is required to produce one unit of output. So capital divided by output. So if I say capital output ratio is 3, it means it is 3 is to 1. So it means that to produce one unit of output, I require 3 units of capital. To produce one unit of output, I require three units of capital. That is the capital output ratio, right? The savings rate is assumed to be, the savings in the economy, sorry, is assumed to be some proportion of the income or the output of the economy. Just if I say that an economy is saving 20% of their income, so if someone has an income of 100 rupees or 100 dollar, he will be saving 20 dollar and consuming 80 dollar. So this is also called as, small s is also called as the net saving rate. How much is an economy saving as a proportion of the output of the economy? Okay. Try to understand that when we talk about the investment in any economy, the investment in any economy can be explained as the change in the capital in the economy. Kitne se capital change hua usi ko hi investment bolenge. Huh? Usually, if you go to models like solo model, to change in capital huh? minus depreciation, that is called as investment in the economy. Right? But if we don't take any amount of depreciation, if depreciation is zero, so the change in capital in the economy can be called as investment in that economy. Now we have said that small c represents the capital output ratio. So I can go ahead and I can bring change in numerator and denominator. So small c ko hum change in capital upon change in output bhi bol sakte hai. Right? Numerator and denominator dono me leke hao, nothing changes. From here, we can do that small c into change in y will be change in k. I can take this on the other side. And change in capital is nothing but investment. So investment is equal to small c into change in y. Okay? Change in capital ki jaga pe, we can plug in investment. And we can say investment is equal to small c into change in y. Right? Another thing which is important here is that 1 by C. 1 by C, but this is also called as the efficiency of capital utilization. Dekho, what was C? Capital by output. So 1 by C kya ho jayega? Output by capital. So agar ek output produce karne ke liye teen capital lag raha hai, matlab har capital one third output produce kar raha hai. One capital is able to produce one third of the output. So this is telling us the efficiency of capital ki ek unit of capital, one unit of capital, how efficient it is. That is given by the inverse of the capital output ratio because that becomes output by capital. Right? So, ye bata hai that for one capital, I will be using one third of, uh, by using one capital, I will be producing one third of the output. Clear? 
फाइनली एंड इन एनी इकोनॉमी अगर हम किसी भी इकोनॉमी की बात करें सो वी नो दैट सेविंग्स एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट आर इक्वल टू इच अदर सेविंग वॉज इफ आई इफ आई लुक एट सेविंग्स तो सेविंग्स क्या था सेविंग वॉज सम प्रपोर्शन ऑफ इनकम एंड इफ आई लुक एट इन्वेस्टमेंट तो इन्वेस्टमेंट वॉज सी चेंज इन वाई सो वी हैव गॉट दिस इक्वेशन दैट एस एस वाई इज इक्वल टू सी चेंज इन वाई फ्रॉम हियर वी गेट change in y by y is equal to this goes here and this goes here is equal to s by c but if you look here to ye kiska definition ho gaya beta growth rate of output ka what is growth rate change in output by the original level of output that is called as nothing but the growth rate of output isn't it so we have got that the growth rate of output is savings by capital output ratio savings by capital output ratio to yahan se hamare paas ek important cheez aa gayi that the growth rate of output is directly related to the savings rate and inversely related to small c to capital output ratio बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन है बच्चे दैट द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ आउटपुट इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू द सेविंग्स रेट एंड इनवर्सली रिलेटेड टू द कैपिटल आउटपुट रेशियो राइट नाउ इफ वी इंक्लूड डेप्रीसिएशन आल्सो अगर डेप्रीसिएशन भी होता इनटू अकाउंटिंग राइट सो हियर व्हाट वुड हैव हैपेंड इज दैट चेंज इन कैपिटल जो हमारा इन्वेस्टमेंट है इट वुड हैव बिकम चेंज इन कैपिटल माइनस डेप्रीसिएशन ऑफ कैपिटल राइट एंड व्हेन वी गो हियर तो जहां पे हमने इन्वेस्टमेंट लिखा था वी वुड हैव गॉट चेंज इन कैपिटल माइनस डेप्रीसिएशन ऑफ कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू सी चेंज इन वाई राइट सो एवरीवेयर इफ यू नोटिस दिस फैक्टर वुड हैव कम इन ये वाला फैक्टर आ जाता इज इंट इट नाउ If we go ahead and if we try to understand this a bit more, तो हमारा investment uh, को हमने savings से equate करना था We had to equate investment to savings, right? And uh, if you go ahead and if you look from here, ये है आपका investment. This is equal to this value. So from here change in k would have been c change in y plus delta k plus delta k. clear is this making sense now if we go ahead and if we assume that saving is equal to change in k saving is equal to change in k so s y would have become c change in y plus delta k plus delta k right and if you continue doing this then you would have got change in y is equal to s y minus delta k upon c upon c right and if i would have divided throughout by y i would have got change in y by y is equal to s by c minus delta by c into k by y इन टू के बाय वाई देख रहे हो ध्यान से समझोगे तो यूल अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू मैंने सेविंग्स को सेविंग्स जो होती है उसी की वजह से कैपिटल चेंज होता है जो सेविंग है उसी की वजह से हम इन्वेस्टमेंट कर पा रहे हैं इकोनॉमी में तो मैंने सेविंग को इन्वेस्टमेंट के बराबर कर दिया इन्वेस्टमेंट सिर्फ वो है जो मैंने एक्स्ट्रा कैपिटल इन्वेस्ट किया है डेप्रीसिएशन नहीं सिर्फ जो कैपिटल में इंक्रीज आ रहा है सेविंग उसके बराबर है तो मैंने सेविंग को चेंज इन के के इक्वल किया चेंज इन के जो था वो सी चेंज इन वाई प्लस डेल्टा के था तो यहां से हमें आ गया कि सेविंग्स जो होती हैं वो चेंज इन के के इक्वल होती हैं चेंज इन के की जगह वी हैव प्लग्ड इन दिस वैल्यू एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ सेविंग्स आई है दिस इज सम प्रपोर्शन ऑफ इनकम आई हैव जस्ट री रिटर्न दिस इक्वेजन इन टर्म्स ऑफ चेंज इन वाई and i have got this equation i have divided throughout by y and i have got this equation but k by y is nothing but capital output ratio so this will be s by c 
minus delta by c into c. And y and uh, c and c will get cancelled. So I will go ahead and get change in y by y is equal to s by c minus delta. Mane the growth rate of output will come s by c minus minus delta. So in the presence of depreciation rate, our growth rate of output is this. In the presence of depreciation rate, the growth rate of output becomes this. Is this clear, beta? So what we are saying now? We have got two equations. Pella equation is without depreciation, it is S by C. And in the presence of depreciation, it is S by C minus delta. What this is saying is the following. This is saying that when C increases, dekho dhyan se. When C increases, it means capital output ratio is increasing. So, just an example. Le lete. Suppose I tell you capital output ratio is 3. And in the next case, capital output ratio is 5. So, beta, here to produce one output, you need 3 capital. And here to produce one output, you need 5 capital. So, aapke hisab se kaun sa zada efficient hai? Which is more efficient? This situation na. Here you need just 3 capital and you will be able to produce 1 unit of output. So, try to understand that when C increases, when this ratio is increasing, then efficiency is decreasing. When efficiency is decreasing, then output growth will fall. That is why growth rate of output is inversely related to small c. It is inversely related to small c. Now try to understand that when there will be more savings in the economy. Then there will be more capital that can be purchased. Zada saving hungi up. Bank ke paas zyada paisa hoga, wo zyada loan de paega, zyada capital investment ho paega. So more savings directly means more capital that can be purchased. So when savings will increase, growth rate of output will increase because you have more machines, you can produce more, output will be more. Or kisi bhi economy ka ye bohat bada aim rehta hai, it always aims at a higher saving rate in the economy. During the golden period of India, the savings rate in economy had reached almost 37 to 38% when India had a very good growth rate during the period of 2006-07. So higher saving, higher GDP in the economy. But growth rate will be negatively impacted by depreciation. Jitna capital wear and tear hota jayega. The more wear and tear of capital, the more you will be affected by the the more you will be affecting the growth rate in the economy is this clear okay beta